Larissa, thank you so much for coming on the show. Step us through what looked like a tough physical contest when you ultimately had to share the points today. Yeah, look, it's really hot in Brisbane, which um, doesn't help playing at 2 p.m. Um, we knew victory was going to be a hard one coming into the game, and look, we fought, we fought for 90 minutes, and you know, one all I think is pretty even. I think, yeah, we play at a different time, and it's a completely different game. For your side, sitting fifth on the ladder with a game in hand, how big a clash was this for you and your hopes for playing finals football this season? Yeah, look, it's huge. I mean, every week we talk about where we're sitting and, and we need to take points off uh, teams that are ahead of us. And, yeah, I think it's just big that we um, keep putting our head down and, and get three points from here on out for every game. Larissa, I don't know if it was obvious as you played. There were 30 total fouls, 15 each in today's game. When it starts, stop like that, how hard is it to actually build any momentum and get any rhythm going? Yeah, look, it upsets the game. I think all players have a little chat about it while we're playing. It's Some some fouls aren't fouls and it just stops start all the time. And, you know, like it, it, it makes us angry and definitely it's definitely happened today. Hey, Larissa, it's T here. Uh, how are you feeling about your, your form at the moment and how are you feeling heading into the Cup of Nations next week? Uh, yeah, look, I, I'd like a bit more goals under my belt, but, um, you know, I take what I can get. Um, I'm feeling quite good. I'm, I'm obviously really fit at the moment, which is definitely helping me. But, yeah, I feel confident heading in. As far as how you'll be deployed, I mean, have you spoken to the national team? Are you expecting to come off the bench as a defender? Are you hoping that they play you as a forward in one of these three games? Uh, yeah, obviously forward's my preferred position, but at the end of the day, if I'm going to play defence and actually get minutes, I'm not too bothered. And as far as at the Raw, have you spoken to the Raw about if that's your path into the Matildas, you'd rather play defence? I mean, I know it's your preferred position to play forward, and of course you've won the golden boot in this competition, so you love scoring goals, but is it a move you'd consider making if it helps your case for the Matildas? Look, uh, I think that's something you have to talk to Gareth about. I don't see him putting me back there, and I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. And look, hi, I'm Brianna. I'm uh, from Brisbane, so I'm a big Raw fan, and I was rooting for just an extra goal at the end there. But what do you take from this draw into the next game? Look, that's obviously victory at top of the one of the top of t table teams, and if we can fight like that for 90 minutes in nearly 35 degree heat, I'd love to see what we can do when it's and it's not so hot at 2 p.m. Larissa, congrats on taking a point today. Good luck in the Matilda squad with the Cup of Nations over the next couple of weeks. Thank you for joining us on Dub Zone. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your night, hey? See you.